way to pick up our new van. Uh, quick recap on where we're at. We we're supposed to be off on a lap of Australia April this year. COVID hit and completely stuffed up our plans and we thought we we're gonna have to push it back until next year. Cancel all our leave, everything. Um, fast forward to now, uh, early July, things are starting to look up. Regional borders are all open, state borders, most of them are open. And except we, Victoria. Yeah, except Vic. And we just thought, stuff it, we're gonna wing it, we're going. Um, Even if that means six months in WA, then we've accepted that fact. Yeah. We could beach hop for six months up the top end of WA and we'd still be stoked. So, anywho, um, for whatever reason, we decided to sell the camper trailer that we we're going to do the lap in and get something else. So, 12 weeks ago, uh, we put an order in for a new uh, off road hybrid caravan and uh, we're on our way to pick it up now. So, we leave next week, next Thursday, and that gives us like 10 days to. Um, do quite a bit of work on this van. <laughs> so we actually thought we'd have a little bit more time to get ready, um, but the caravan was a 12 week turnaround. Um, so we leave in a week and a half, and we've got a week and a half to get it packed, get some mods done, and yeah. So yeah, we're off to pick up the van now. We'll give you a look at it when we get it. Hey Gal, we just got back from MDC and we picked up our new wheels. So this is the camper trailer replacement. Pretty different to what we had. Um, so we've gone from the forward fold camper to a 13 foot off-road uh, hybrid caravan. Like, oh, they call it a, a hybrid camper, but I'd call it a caravan. So this is the MDC Forbes 13 Plus. It's a 13 foot uh, travel length. And then that back aluminium section pops out, gives you another three or so feet. And that's where our bed, bed is. So we've only, like I said, literally just got this thing home. Um, I've got to be straight into the mod, straight into packing the thing and getting it all ready because we, we're taking it around Australia next week. So um, not even going to have a chance to do a shakedown or anything like that. So we don't have any sort of affiliation with MDC. We paid retail price for this thing, um, which is good for you guys because we'll be able to give you 100% honest feedback on how it goes. And we are going to put this thing through its paces. It's going to be driven on beaches, driven through water corrugations, thousands of k's of corrugations, it's going to have a pretty hard life. So um, I'll show you around the thing and then I'll show you inside it. This will just be a real quick brief overview. Um, we've got heaps to do to this thing. We'll give you a, a more in-depth look at it once we're on the road and settled into it. So DO35 hitch, I've already put the um, ARC 750 jockey wheel on it because it came with a crappy Chinese one. Um, Two nine kilo gas bottles in there, jerry can holder, diesel tank on this side for the um, diesel heater, another jerry can holder over the other side, lifetime warranty on the chassis, stone covers are on it, it is a pop top as you can see. Um, the awning is an electric awning, you just press one button there and it comes out automatically um, and supports itself to an extent. Uh, it's a rip off of the Fiamma 45 I think. Um, single axle, off-road suspension, you can see the thing sits pretty high, slide-out kitchen there, picnic table there, uh, dual uh, two spare wheels on the back, they drop down, everything's gas assisted so nothing's too heavy to set the thing up. That's all aluminium, that section that pops out so the bed can extend out, so it does extend to like a, a 15 or a 16 foot van. It's all um, aluminium composite panel, there's no wood in this thing at all. Um, so it's like sandwich panel, uh, aluminium sheet, and then there's some insulation in the middle, and then another aluminium sheet. So nothing can rot if you do get any water ingress. There's a couple of um, recovery hitches on the back, both sides. <laughs> heaps of um, heaps of windows and stuff in this. There's like, well, there's two windows that side, two window, no, three windows that side, two windows this side. <laughs> And being a pop top, all the top of the skirt opens up as well, so heaps of airflow. Um, it's got the hot water units, so that's the hot water unit. Filling the tanks, outdoor shower. 
that's your uh, Fetford toilet uh, canister capsule thing. What are they called? Uh, porta potty. Yeah, it's your porta potty thing in there. Um, storage. Storage this side. Other side's got a fridge slide. I'll show you inside the thing. You are grumpy. Ah. All right, see ya. In. Show us inside, Mama. All right. Um, this is just AstroTurf from Bunnings. It's not the muck mat. Um, we've just cut it up ourselves just to wipe your feet, and then we've done one here as well. All right, so this is Chloe's bed. Um, it's a little bit smaller than a single, um, so I did actually sew the sheets myself just to make them more taut. Um, and I put a pool noodle under there, which keeps, because she's only three, um, just so she doesn't fall out when she's sleeping at night. Um, and then these are just from Ikea bed pockets. They're pretty cool. Um, we will need to get a little stool or something there because she's a little bit too short to hop into bed. Uh, shower and toilet, which is one of the main um, reasons why we sort of were drawn towards this. Um, we want a little bit of luxury. So having a shower and a toilet inside will be really, really good. Uh, lounge, there is a, a table that comes with it too, and I do, do think it moves around a bit, but we haven't unpacked that yet. Um, the bed is in between a queen and a king, so it's quite large, which is good. Um, and basically, because this section pops out, when you pack it up, you've got to lift this. Um, and you'll see I've put these straps on it. Um, they're just from Spotlight, and they keep sort of the sheets on when you've got to fold it in half and move it up. So. To fold it up, you've got to grab it, flip it over, pull it up, and then you can do your back section. And same deal when you're doing the back, like this. Um, this is a, a man's job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Mummy. Hey, want me to do it? Yeah. Uh, Ta-da! <laughs> um, there's a TV as well, which is pretty cool. But that sort of swivels around. So you can watch it from your lounge. You need to swivel it the whole way around so Chloe could watch it from her bed. It's got an inbuilt um, DVD player as well. Probably won't use it. Um, we'll just get a HDMI cable and plug it in from our laptop. Oh. Um, it and you can't actually watch TV unless you've got a big pop-up aerial, which we don't have. Yeah, the van doesn't come with an aerial. That was like a $2,000 extra. Oh, so. a thousand bucks, I think. Too much. Um, oh, cupboard space. This is actually a lot of room compared to what we had in the forward fold. Um, so you've got all of them. And you've got drawers on both sides as well. Um, do you want to go through some of the electric stuff or? Oh yeah, just quickly. So um, the van comes standard. There's no optional add-ons for this other than aircon, which was two and a half grand. We didn't get that because we're going to be um, off grid most of the time. Uh, I think that was the only option. So it and comes the TV aerial. on the TV aerial for another thousand bucks, which again, we're never going to use. Um, so the van comes standard oh, with a TV that I nearly broke. 300 watts of solar on the roof. Um, 300 amp hour of AGM deep cycle batteries, which are underneath the bed. Um, comes with a diesel heater, uh, similar to the one we had in the camper trailer. Um, and it comes with a Trumar 14 litre hot water system. So that's gas and that's diesel. Uh, we've had the, we've had the um, diesel heater before, they're really good. I'm new to the gas hot water system, so we're going to have to figure um, that one out. that's a table. A table? Yeah, a table fits there. Good job, bud. Uh, underneath this seat, there's a thousand watt inverter, um, and then there's a heap of um, 12 volt cigarette plug and USB plugs around the place, around this bed and around the other bed. So this is the three berth, and we've seen people mod these to put. In, we've seen people mod these to put another bed across here, which we may do if we have another little tacker sometime soon. Comes with one water tank, 120 liters, and an 80 liter grey water tank. We're going to convert that grey water tank to a fresh water tank, so we'll effectively have 200 liters of fresh water and grey water, we're just gonna either catch in a jerry can if we have to somewhere, otherwise just pour it out onto the trees and stuff or the grass. Heaps of windows all around the place, heaps of airflow. Um, we really like this as a stargazer hatch, like a sunroof. 
So you can lay in bed and, and watch the stars on a good night. Um, or there is block out curtains and stuff on all of these. Um, and yeah, heaps of airflow on this thing because it's a pop top. You can open the whole, um, all the, uh, all the vinyl top section and get heaps of airflow. So I've, I've just put the ARC XO750 jockey wheel on. And then the other thing was, I was looking for a hitch lock for the um, DO35. And they were like 150 bucks from Cruise Master. So I just got like a normal tow hitch lock. And that seems to fit okay. Like that. Can't fit through without the key. It's just little things to make it more difficult to steal. If anyone really wants to steal it, they'll be able to. All right, we've got all of these uh, fusion lock um, little caddy things for the toilet area. Um, so these are two little cups, and then we've got a basket, um, a soap dispenser, and that one's just going to be a shampoo dispenser, uh, and then a toilet roll holder. Um, these come really recommended on a lot of the Facebook camping groups. Um, and you just sort of, they suction on with this little okay, suction thing. Um, and there's you. two little hooks that I got as well. I'll so I'll show you them once we've got them on. Right, so the fusion lock stuff is all on. That's the toilet roll holder. And then I've got two little um, jars, like for toothbrushes and brushes and whatnot. And there's another basket there. And then... I've got these hooks, so I've got one here and I'll probably put another one over there. Um, that one's probably for keys. What you do is you just use this little blue suction thing and you sort of press it up and down six or seven times and that just sort of locks it on. You make sure it's clean first. And um, it seems like it's stuck pretty well, so hopefully they stand up to the test of time. And Cam's doing the Sirocco fans at the moment. So he's got one on Chloe's bed and then we're going to have one on either side of our bed. So we're eight days out now. Tiff's off to work. She's still got a couple of days of work left. But hey? I, I, I want to keep taking a picture off. Taking a video? Where are we? Huh? Where are we? I'm at Bunnings. We're always at Bunnings, aren't we? So another little mod I want to get done before we go. The van came standard with a 80 litre grey water tank at the front. And, and then a 120 litre fresh water tank at the back. I've been to Bunnings and got some fittings. And I'm going to link these two tanks um, so that it draws from both. And I'll also put a couple of inline taps so that I can isolate them if one were to crack or anything like that. And then the grey water, I'm just going to have dump straight out the side of the van. I'll put a, um, I'll leave that tap on to attach a grey water hose if I need to. So this is the main, this is the main suction line for the uh, main water tank. And I'm going to put a, uh, a little uh, valve in there, a little tap. So I can choose whether I'm drawing from this tank or that tank in the event that I was to crack one of them um, or anything like that. Or just if, you know, if I filled one with tainted water because I've got separate fill points, um, I can I can keep that separate from the other tank. What's that thing? This? Yeah. Water tank. Water tank? Yeah. Well, right, so day three of van mods. Um, here's some, a few other things that we've done. Um, that wall was just the, the white sort of wall before. Um, Cam's got some carpet from Bunnings and he's just uh, glued it onto the front here. Um, it just makes it a lot more warmer to touch. Um, we found during the night, especially when we touched it, it was freezing cold. So if she's rolling around in bed, it's quite cold to lean up against. So the carpet's like another layer of insulation. Um, I've got this extendable curtain rod. Um, it's just sort of a, you screw it to get the the um, length that you want and then you just, it's like a tension rod so it just stays there. Um, that's just from Spotlight. And then these curtains, um, they're just Spotlight curtains and I have made them the length and the width that I wanted um, and they just slide along. Um, the only reason why we've done that is because the little one's only three. 
she goes to bed quite early and we want to still stay up and and watch um tv and sit in our computers and whatnot so that just makes it a little bit darker in there for her at night time the van came with 120 litres of freshwater tank and an 80 litre grey water tank um we didn't really have a need for the grey water tank so we have converted that to a freshwater tank before we actually use it um so that there is the monitor the one on the left is the grey water that's the fresh water but now they'll just both monitor um how much fresh water we have so we'll have 100 no 200 liters of fresh water now plus what we have in the car as well uh this here is just a over the door hook just some spots to hang things uh, Cam's also siliconed these two soap dispensers on the wall. Um, and all the fans are in now, so. Oh, one on that side. One on that side when the TV's out the way. And then Chloe's got her one at the end of her bed. Three more days of work. Then we're going on a big holiday. Okay. Bye, Mummy. You're waving to Mum? You're waving? Bye, Mummy. Hi, Mummy and Mum. Daddy. <laughs> All right. We're going to go pick something up. Hmm? We're going to go pick something up. Where? I'll show you. So I've been to Bunnings again. Um, and I've got a bit of envy and I've got a bit of plywood. I've already cut some of it up. Um, I'm going to be making a pantry. So there's not a lot of food storage on this van. It came with a small pantry here next to the kitchen, but it's tiny. And we don't run a fridge in our van um, because we've got fridges in the back of the canopy. So I'm going to turn this fridge slide into a big pantry. Next section is going to be the drawer. So it's uh, nine o'clock at night. Cam's still outside doing the drawers for the fridge slide. So I've been inside for the last few hours making the stickers that we send out to people, the decals. Um, I've got a machine that does it here at home for me. Buy some more stickers. <laughs> I forgot to say as well, I'm gonna do some new signage for the caravan. Um, I'm gonna get rid of some of the MDC and the Forbes signs and put our own um, signage on there. So I'll show you them once I've done them. Alrighty, that's the pantry done. So two levels of storage and the top uh, top drawer folds back into itself or slides back into itself. So you can reach all the stuff in the bottom. Well, I got lucky there. That carpet I bought from Bunnings to do um, the front wall on Chloe's bed. The off cuts of that pretty much fit perfectly to fit inside the drawers. So, not going to glue them in. They're just cut to size and sitting there. Um, so that if I spill anything, uh, they can come out and be replaced or be washed or dusted out if it gets full of crap. Right, next job. So this van's got a little um, diesel heater fitted, which worked brilliantly. We had one on our old camper. All right, you go, buddy. You can leave me hanging. Do you need help? No. All right. Yeah, this this van's fitted with a little um, diesel heater, which worked really well. We had one on our old camper trailer. But if you've ever had one, you'll know that the little diesel pump, this little thing here, 
ticks quite noisily as it's pumping diesel through. Um, and they mounted it right underneath uh, Tiff's side of the bed. And I just know it's going to drive her mad. She says it's not too bad now. But I just know eventually it's going to get to her. Because she's quite sensitive with noises at night. She's a light sleeper. So what I've done is I've, um, I've removed the thing from inside the van. And I'm going to mount it underneath the van. So we won't hear the ticking. And it's not going to annoy the neighbours because it's really not that loud. So that's the job for the morning. And then we're off to Bunnings again for some more parts. This is about the eighth trip to Bunnings in the last week. We're the best customers. How about a sponsorship, Bunnings? So that's the ticking noise you could hear at night inside the van. I'll show you where the pump was. So the little pump was mounted there, which is right underneath the bed when the bed folds down. And it's on Tiff's side too, so it had to go. You can hear the fan going, but you can't hear the um, ticking at all now. So what's the drama you have in here, Tiff? Well, this comes standard with the drawer, right? So you put the knives in, they don't fit. Anyway, they fit there. The knives will just have to live up there. Um, this spatula also doesn't fit. And what's the solution for the spatula? Cam said he's just going to cut the end. <laughs> and the, <laughs> what about the um, the plates? Wasn't there an issue there as well? Oh, that's not too bad. So the... <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you just have to take them out. Yeah, you just take them out at an angle. Awesome. Good as new. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, we've had a few people ask how we store all our dry fruits, so this is it. Um, tins, snacks, in the top, and then in the bottom. Um, there's some extra toiletries and detergents, um, cereals, cordial, toilet paper, wet wipes, that's everything. I've got a little bit of meat, we'll probably have to get some more later. Just some snags and mints and some thigh fillet for curries and stuff. Um, so what I'll do with the meat is I'll, um, I'll vacuum seal that and that'll get deep frozen. It'll go in the freezer now. Uh, in the house and it'll go into the car freezer closer to the trip uh, so i'll, I'll uh, chop them into portion sizes and then freeze them um, and i will have to do another shop just before we leave for um, fresh fruit and veg um, i'll get some more meat and probably some frozen veg as well so uh, we'll show you what sort of meals we do as we go we don't really know yet uh, we're winging it but we'll show you what we do and if it works for us we'll let you know So, so we'll bring this vacuum sealer with us as we're traveling. Every time we do a food shop, we'll divvy it all up into serving uh, or into meal sizes and we'll take it with us. It's also really good if you um, if you store this stuff in the fridge, once it's vac sealed, it lasts like twice as long as it normally would. And like say you've got chicken thighs or something for a curry, if you put all your spices or marinade or whatever in there um, and then you vac seal it, it, apparently it like infuses into your meat more, like it, it marinates it more, it draws everything into it. So. That's pretty cool. And obviously these are also wicked for um, for fishing. So hopefully we catch some fish and we will vac seal them and freeze them. It's freezing, isn't it? Won't be soon when we're up north. Next week we're gonna be in the sun. It's gonna be nice and sunny. Good job, mama. Beautiful. Nice. Cool. Looks good.